We've all been there. You're readying yourself to play in a match for your local football team, only to find out that the game would be called off at the last minute. Or at least this was the case for me growing up in one of the wettest parts of England, resulting in 22 devastated teenagers. However, could you imagine this happening for a professional team in the Premier League, for example, and the scale of devastated teenagers it would cause? It would be off the charts. So, to reduce the chances of it happening, a football pitch needs to have its training systems on point. Water, just like most humans, is pretty lazy, and it won't just move by itself, not even if you ask it politely. So, to get it moving, we have to use our homeboy Newton's best mate, good old fashioned gravity, using slopes on pitches. However, we're not talking slopes so steep you can fly down them on your skis, they're ever so slight, with normally the slope being a gradient of 1 in 100 along the pitch's length and 1 in 50 along its width. Water doesn't just move across a football pitch's surface however, it will also move through the surface, squeezing through tiny gaps between the soil, also known as voids, with water below the surface being a damn sight better than water sitting on the surface of a pitch. However, if the water cannot pass through the subsurface quick enough, either due to soil beneath, not having enough voids, such as clay, or water coming onto the pitch from other areas, such as the roof. This will result in stagnant water, leading to a waterlogged pitch and eventually a postponed match. Well, most of the time. <laughs> It's important that water can be easily moved through the subsurface of the soil during wet conditions. Leaving it to its own devices, water will take an age to seep through turf, therefore it needs a bit of help. This is where drainage comes in. There are various ways in which water can be given a kick up the arse, so we will talk through the various techniques. One of the most common ways to drain a football pitch is a technique called primary drainage and is the main method of draining pitches for professional football teams and will be installed in the off-season to minimise disruption. This essentially consists of multiple drains which run across the width of a pitch which then feed into the main drainage pipe which takes the water away from the pitch. There are two ways the pipes are laid which are called herringbone and flag. For Premier League grounds, the spacing of lateral pipes will be between 3 and 5 metres. What makes up these drains you may ask? Well, these drains will be the turf or topsoil sitting on top, disguising all the magic which happens beneath. Below this, we'll have a layer of sand and then gravel, which allows the water to filter through easily. And once it gets to the bottom of the gravel, it will get picked up by a perforated pipe. Essentially, a pipe with holes in it to allow the water to get into it. The pipe will then move the water away from the pitch and drop it off somewhere more appropriate, such as a storage tank, before saying, adios. In most instances, the primary drainage system is not enough to adequately drain a pitch quickly, especially for the Premier League. And as people know, due to recent events, time is money. So, a secondary drainage system will be installed to help aid the dispersal of surface water. The system consists of trenches running perpendicular to the primary drains, also known as bands. These bands are either filled with sand or gravel to help move the water to the primary drains quicker. These two drainage methods described are the main methods for draining pitches. However, there is an increasing use of a system which is called permavoid. These are essentially plastic crates which are combined together and sports turf is whacked on top to get yourself a football pitch. What makes this method a lot better than the conventional way of draining a football pitch is the space in between the crates is a heck of a lot higher than sand or gravel, meaning water can just gush through making a very robust draining system. This permavoid system has been used on pitches of some of the so-called top six teams such as the new Tottenham Stadium at Anfield. So there you have it, the fascinating engineering 
behind the drainage system at Premier League pitches, something that will have most likely flown completely below your radar, but without it, your team would probably only play half the games given the weather in the UK, which given the new Champions League format might actually be a blessing in disguise. So let's just go back to the old fashioned way of draining football pitches. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and join us as we carry on telling you the stories of the world's greatest achievement, one wonder at a time. This has been a civil conversation and I will see you in the next video.